Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Monday, November 20th, 2023, Monday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 18. Verses 35 through 43. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging, and hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, we encounter the story of a blind man receiving his sight through the compassionate intervention of Jesus. This reading is a powerful exploration of faith, persistence, and the transformative encounter with Christ. And this blind man's persistence is awesome. His unwavering belief in Jesus' ability to heal him just stands out. When he's discouraged by those around him, he doesn't lose heart. He just yells louder. His persistence is compelling. It's an example to all of us to have tenacity and a faith that sometimes we're called to have in the face of obstacles and discouragement. St. Teresa of Calcutta fittingly encapsulates the essence of this faith with her words when she says, Faith in action is love. And love in action is service. The blind man's faith is active. It propels him to cry out to Jesus and express his deepest desire. His faith is his way of reaching out, seeking an encounter with the one that he believes can heal him. Similarly, Jesus' response is love in action, a service that brings healing and restoration. In addition, the question that Jesus asks, what do you want me to do for you, is very significant. It's a reminder that Christ invites each one of us to articulate our needs and our desires to him. He knows our needs, but he wants us to approach him with trust and openness and express our dependence on him. The blind man's response, Lord, I want to see, is not just a request for physical sight, but it can be seen as a metaphor for spiritual insight and enlightenment. So as we reflect on this passage, let's be inspired by the blind man's persistent faith and Jesus' compassionate response. Let's ask ourselves, how persistent are we in our faith, especially when we're faced with challenges? Do we continue to call out to Jesus with trust, or do we let the voices of doubt and discouragement silence us? So as we reflect on this passage, let's be inspired by the blind man's faith and persistence in Jesus. Let's ask ourselves, how persistent are we in our faith, especially when we're faced with challenges? Do we continue to call out to Jesus with trust, or do we let the voices of doubt and discouragement silence us? May we also have the courage to express our deepest needs to Jesus, trusting in his power to transform our lives, 
just as he transformed the life of the blind man on the road to Jericho. And so today, let's pray with insistence and an unwavering belief in Jesus' ability to heal us both physically and spiritually. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.